Come here. Look at how big Chester is. Hey everyone, what's going on? So this is a little bit of an update video that we shot over a couple days just to kind of show you what's been going on in our homestead. Some of the exciting new things that we have that we've gotten. Just a little snapshot of what's been going on lately with the garden and with the animals. So come on and check it out. So I wanna show you real quick our meat rabbits. So right here, these are our rabbits. They are American chinchillas. And what I've done is I've taken these chicken coops from Tractor Supply and I turn them into rabbit tractors. So I'm dragging them around a yard and uh, they're always on fresh grass. I move them twice a day and we still give them their feed and they love it. So between eating the grass and their feed, they're doing really well. We got their water containers hanging right off the side of it here. So they're doing really good in there. Standing in my garage because I wanna show you our freezer. I cannot tell you the amazing feeling it is to have all of this meat in here that we have raised or harvested ourselves on our homestead. It's just such a great feeling to just be able to do that. And I just, I wanna show it to you. So this entire freezer is full of meat that we have harvested or raised on this homestead. So these are all the chickens that we harvested. This was in um, my last video, or this was two videos ago. I showed you our chicken processing video. And then we've got venison. And then this right here is a duck, our first duck. And then we've got our first meat rabbit that we harvested. So this entire freezer is full of stuff that we raised or we harvested and we know exactly what everything in here ate. So it's very, very exciting for us to have. And it, it's just such an amazing feeling to know that we are self-sufficient with our own chicken eggs and now we've got our own meat chickens. We're getting started with the meat rabbits. We're starting to do ducks and we actually also are as Charlie will talk about in a little bit, we have got a pig that just went off to the butcher. So we're super excited about that too. So just a little update on our pigs. So we took one to the butcher yesterday. So now we've just got these two and I just fed them. They look nice and happy in there. Looks like they're doing well. So I'll show you what, so I'll show you what we've got going on in here. I'm in our barn and my friend Liz recently came over and she's like, it looks like tractor supply up in here. And she's right because we have several things going on in here. Most of these things are about to be moved out of here, but I'll show you what's going on. These are our meat chickens. They are about, this is our second batch of meat chickens and they are about to go into the chicken tractor. But these are the McMurray Big Red Broilers. And I have to show you these awesome things that Charlie made to cover all of these brooders. Let me see if I can get like a better picture for you. There you go, so you can see. So because we have barn cats, it's really, really important to protect any of the birds that we have in here. So Charlie made these things out of chicken wire and wood to go on top of all the brooders. And if anybody's interested, let us know and we can do a video on how to do that. But it's really nice because we know that the birds are safe from any, we have two barn cats, so they're safe from the barn cats, they can't get in. And then it works really well for our quail as also. We've got the covering over them so that the cats can't get them. And they're perfectly safe because this is really nice and heavy and the cats cannot move it. This is our quail habitat. So this is what the quail are going to be moved into. Quail like a really, really small space. So once they get a little bigger, we're gonna be moving them into here. And then in this last brooder over here, and you can see this one's just like the other ones, the covering, the only difference is here, we've got hardware cloth instead of chicken wire. But here we've got, these are laughing chickens. And we're really, really excited to add these to our flock. They're, they're just getting feathered out. So this week they're gonna go into the chicken village. 
but they're really, really cool birds. We had a great hatch rate on them and they are just such strong birds and they're really friendly too. Here's another little hack I wanna show you really quick. We've got our, so that the ants cannot get in our cat food, we have our cat food hanging like this in the barn in a chicken feeder. And so that keeps the ants out of the cat food. It works really, really well. I'm just gonna do a quick little garden update for you. These are those beautiful black strawberry tomatoes that I planted. And I wanna show you what they look like when they are getting ripe. They are absolutely breathtaking. That is the most beautiful tomato that I've ever seen in my life. So, so pretty. And I love that I have so many of them. So this has been a really prolific tomato. These are the Brad's Atomic Grape Tomatoes. And so I can tell that they're getting ready to start blushing. I've got some that are getting closer down here. That one's split open because of the heat. So I'm gonna give that guy to the chickens. But again, just a really beautiful tomato. I am absolutely hooked on growing heirloom tomatoes now. Oh my goodness, I had no idea how much fun it was gonna be. Here's my zinnia, looking absolutely gorgeous. And my very first marigold bloomed the other day. Very, very pretty. And let's check in on this African basil. It is so beautiful. I got this for the sole purpose of bringing more pollinators to my garden, and it sure is working. Absolutely beautiful. All right, so now I'm gonna check in on my tomatillos. This is the first time I've ever grown tomatillos. If you saw my garden tour, I got a little emotional about these tomatillos because I started growing these because I wanted to make my sister Kristen's white chicken chili. You, s you can see the bottom here. You can see the tomatillo down there. It's nice and heavy. As soon as this husk splits. So this tomatillo right here is almost ready to be harvested. I can feel the tomatillo down there. It's right there. As soon as this husk splits on its own, which could happen today, could happen tomorrow, then I know that these are ready to harvest and I can make some of that wonderful green salsa for my sister Kristen's white chicken chili. And I've got a lot of tomatillos here. We've got two Kajari melons growing. There's one. And there's the other one. This is icebox watermelon. We've got a pumpkin. I have so many peppers growing. Absolutely nailed it with peppers this year. And I'm so excited because last year I was having a hard time with them. But right here, those are jalapenos. These are shishito. And then I've got some green peppers over here, some green bell peppers. So as I was looking through my peppers, I see I've got some eggs of some sort here on this leaf. And it's a shame because it's really kind of a cool looking pattern and pretty in its own way, but I'm gonna pull this leaf off because I do not want these things to hatch in my peppers. I've got even more peppers over here. So there we've got a hatch chili pepper. And then I believe that these are guajillo, guajillo peppers. And then over here, that little guy back there is, I'm trying to get my camera. I've only got one on here, so there we go. That is a poblano pepper. I don't remember what I put where. I thought I did a good job marking them, but evidently I didn't. I'm pretty sure that this is a Paul Robeson tomato. It's coming in really pretty, so this is another heirloom variety. 
these tomatoes coming in here, these are either San Marzano or Roma. Hey Onyx, what's going on bud? Okay, so now I'm in the chicken village and Charlie and I seriously need to do just a whole video update on the chicken village. We have so many cool new chickens, but I'm just gonna just show you kind of like just a little video of all of the different kinds we have. So we've got lots of Polish chickens. We've got some Cochin. We've got, that's Midnight, our I Am Samani. We've got some Silkies, some Bantams. We got a very eclectic flock going on here. So we'll do a more updated video later on, on all of these guys. So if you know what any of those tomatoes that I planted that I wasn't quite sure of the variety are, definitely let me know in the comments because I'm still new to the heirloom tomatoes and you might be like, oh, I know exactly what that is. So help me out if you can. And if you guys have any tips and tricks for raising quail and raising meat rabbits, we would love to hear them because we are definitely beginners.